Hey guys, look what I got. I got an unbelievably dirty, filthy Acer laptop. You know, in this day and age, um, people bring me, still continue to bring me computers that look like this and drop it off for some simple repairs. But in this case, customer's hard drive is toast, got beat around, dropped around. Um, it's unbelievably dirty. I don't know if you can see that screen. Hopefully you can. It's literally got chunks of stuff, dirt, sand, hair sticking out of the keyboard. This is how they use it, supposedly, according to the customer in the house sitting on the kitchen table so his wife can play a lot of games. I mean, if you're looking in these HDMI and USB ports, I mean, good Lord, you, I wouldn't plug any of my stuff into there. But I have to work on this. I'm going to put a new solid state drive in it and do a clean install of Windows. But before I can do any of that, I have to clean it and make it look presentable and just clean it, disinfect it. It's, it's, it's just really nasty. The outside is, is really bad. It's got weird stains all over it. Um, but guys, yeah, clean your, keep your computers clean. You know, you pay a few hundred bucks for these things and you wonder why they don't last or whoever. Um, it's just kind of disappointing when somebody brings in a laptop like this and they don't bother to clean it a little bit before they drop it off. It's frankly quite annoying. All right, guys, like I said, before I before I actually start cleaning this, I'm going to remove the bad hard drive underneath because I'm going to, then I'm going to go outside. I'm going to blow all this crud as much as I can off and out of it. So the first thing is I'm going to get these screws out here so I can remove the hard drive, the bad hard drive. take it outside and I'm gonna put some air to it all right guys All right, guys, I blew out, you know, hopefully you saw that nasty crud. It's a little bit better, but it's still extremely dirty. So the first thing I'm going to do is I use 409. This is the best cleaner in the world. I'm going to give it a quick mist. Just get the big chunks. I'll be careful on this one. There's power buttons right over there, but you can see it's nasty. Just going to give it a quick pre-clean here. I get it in too deep. If it comes on, I don't care. There's no hard drive in it. I'll just shut it back off. I hit that button. This thing is just disgusting. I don't want to soak it too much. You don't want to just, just lighten this so it doesn't run. Love my job. It's going to be very difficult to get into these corners on the screen and make it look good.
very well kept laptop. There's sticky stuff on there. Well, it might look better. This, this is an antibacterial cleaner. This 409 it works really well. <laughs> Just it's so dirty. Don't want to spray any liquid in in here, of course. Be careful. It's not going to be 100% perfect, but boy, it's going to be usable again. Those USB ports look a little better. I have to do this a couple of times. Yeah, that screen still needs a lot of work. When I'm done with this cleaner, I'm going to use some gentle cleaner on the screen. You don't want to. You don't want to push real hard on these screens when you're cleaning them. You can damage them if you're not careful. Cleaned enough of these to know what you can and can't get away with. Crud. Well, I didn't really want to do this, but to get around in these corners good, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove the bezel here. I'm going to get in here carefully. These bezels come off pretty easy. I get a lot of dirty ones, but this one's really bad. I haven't had one quite this bad in a while. Boy, this thing's been dropped. The, the hinge is busted over here, or not the hinge, but the, the arm. Almost new, brand new. I'd even use it now. Yeah, it looks all right. We 
hoops. Putting slight pressure on the back with my hand. There, now it's nice and clean in the corners and around the edges. It's awesome. I'm gonna give it one more quick. Get my Windex here. Clean any final residue off of here. So yeah, it's just a good idea to take care of your laptops and not let them get this bad. I won't recognize it when he picks it up. And after I'm done all working on it, putting the new solid state drive in it, I'm going to give it one more quick once over. But it looks like a whole brand new laptop now. Just a lot of film on here, still coming. They're heavy smokers it looks like. Can't imagine what the inside of the house looks like, but that's for another day. <laughs> it's not all scratched up, it was just unbelievably dirty and never clean. Said I'd, I'd even use this thing now, but... Now it's usable, presentable. All right, guys, that's how you clean a really, really dirty laptop. So I'm gonna put a new solid state drive in it, do a fresh clean and install a Windows 10. So this video was just to show you how I clean a really nasty laptop. I hope that was helpful and entertaining. Don't forget to watch more of my videos and subscribe. Thanks for watching, have a great day.